Dabu 7, July 2013. And with all the instability taking place in the Gulf of Mexico ever since the BP oil spill, uh, there's been a mass cover-up of epic proportions on this situation. All kinds of theories flying around what could really be taking place there with the salt dome at the bottom of the basin, everything from the Louisiana sinkhole to splitting the New Madrid, opening up a bigger channel. Um, and all of this natural gas and oil seeping into the oil, killing all kinds of animals. What we have is a big cover-up, a media blackout about all these events. They're being reported on for a day or so locally down in Louisiana, but you're not hearing about it on any of the local stations across the United States or evening, evening news. But on July 9th in the Gulf of Mexico, a natural gas platform uh, lost control. Uh, they lost control of the well and had to evacuate, and there was a huge sheen that was left. They had to leave it, and it never did get plugged at that point. Uh, there, there's not an update. This is the only link that I have on this. I was going to do a story on it, but I was busy uh, in the past couple weeks working, and I had it in my bookmarks, and I went back, and, I, and this is the only one that I could find on it. But there was a huge nat natural gas well that had busted loose and left a sheen in the Gulf. Well now, today, as of this morning, another platform near Grand Isle, Louisiana, has blown out and they've ev evacuated 44 people. Everybody made it out safe, but they're saying that there is a huge sheen, a huge pocket of gas that is sitting there. Major cloud of gas surrounds the platform after the blowout. This could be highly deadly. This is the Hercules rig, separate rig from the last time. And if you were to really look at the map of all the oil rigs that are in the Gulf of Mexico here, it looks like a pin cushion. It is crazy. People have no idea what's really going on down here, and they wonder why animals are washing up all over the place dead, why earthquakes and loud booms are taking place. They are fracking. They are blowing things up. They are digging holes. And like the Louisiana sinkhole, it now is spewing gas that could cause an explosion. These are the newest updates that are coming from it. Just here in the past couple of days, they measured the Bayou Corn sinkhole, and they used a 750-foot cord and could not reach the bottom. Some people are predicting it might hit its maximum between 30 and 30 acres in circumference, but as of right now, it's, it doesn't matter how big it gets or how much land it's taking in, it's what's the chemical reaction of everything coming out of this and what's it going to cause because right now they're saying that uh, if any of this methane or other gases come up through there it could cause an explosion and this is what people have been warning warning about for a long time because if that sinkhole goes it will be like 40 times Hiroshima so we've got multiple leaks breaking loose in the Gulf of Mexico they can't find the bottom of the Louisiana sinkhole and now it's leaking deadly, possibly explosive gases. That's an update on the Gulf Coast, New Orleans, Louisiana. Some leaking oil rigs, gas rigs, and the sinkhole. I'll leave links to all this. As I get more information, I'll be sure to share it with you. Till next time, Dabu 7 with some underground world news.